hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today's session we will see aws system manager okay and the feature state manager so how to shut start and stop the ec2 instance or rds instance okay by using state manager okay there is a simple configuration we need to uh, configure the job basically why we need uh, we need to uh, start and stop the instance or rds service daily basis as i already explained in the earlier uh, video to save the cost basically as part or as part of the cost optimization operations okay so non production sh uh, server should not be run 24 by 7 right after the business hours so to save the cost basically we can shut down the non production server after the business hours and start automatically next day uh, before the business hours okay okay uh, you can consider like start on the morning time you know 9 am or something something and stop it on the 7 pm or 8 pm something okay after the business hours so that is the purpose basically so how we can configure the jobs you can in the service search box you can just search ssm short form okay it will come the system manager here service okay just click on that and just scroll down a little bit here you can see the options state manager just click on that okay and here you need to configure the association just click on create a uh, create an association okay so then just give the name for the association like you know demo ec2 stop and start okay so just scroll down a little bit here you can find the lots of documentation name here basically it's a uh, created by the aws itself so either we can go go and one by one to check the ec2 instance uh, document here or if you have a handy the document name we can just directly search from here okay just paste it okay and press enter <clears throat> so we can see here there's a two options one is a stop ec2 instance with the approval okay and one another one is stop ec2 instance so okay so for now we can just try with the ec2 stop instance okay just click on that and just select it and you can either you can configure the you know scheduler basically if you want to run for the particular time period okay you can just configure that by using rate control or simple executions okay so for now i'm just i just want to you know configure the manual uh, i want to trigger the manual okay here so you need to enter the instance id basically here just enable it and you can just search show manage instance only or show all instance <clears throat> and you can see as of now i have only single ec2 instance you can see here the instance id is last one a double three and you can see here a double three okay so just select it and you need to uh, <clears throat> select the assume role here just make sure that assume role should have a ec2 instance stop and start permissions basically okay but for now i can just go with the already created i assume roles which has a full access okay i have uh, let me try this one aws administrator access or we can open iml service in different tab okay and we can just cross verify if that user has a full access okay so let me open and click on roles here and just search this one right administrator access to just check in the real time cases you, you should uh, configure the custom policy basically just uh, add the permissions like stop and start the ec2 instance only okay <coughs> sorry not the administrator full access okay just you, you need to grant the two, two permissions only you should to start start and stop instance okay not the full access just for the demo purpose i am just using using this policy okay administrator access it has that your role has already access okay so i can just select it and in this uh, scheduler you can use you know cron scheduler basically if you want to daily stop and start then you can just create and every day or every particular day okay you can just configure the timing here okay and let's say every day i want to st start 9 am okay just give this kind of way and if you want any cloud alarms okay after the job trigger so you can just set up here but for now i'm just skipping that part okay and just click on create association 
the association has been created successfully okay so we can check the instance status now it's running running state okay when we trigger this it should be stop okay it's getting failed so let's click on that and check the execution history okay let's say invalid automation parameter says if i click on this so if you got uh, this kind of issue basically so you might need to troubleshoot here so let's go to that i am a role and just check the trust relationship okay as of now i have only data sync in trust relation policy okay so we need to add the system manager here trust policy okay just click on this page and just <clears throat> enter in the open bracket and close bracket okay and just we can just try to add just give the comma in double quote okay you can just use ssm dot amazon aws dot com okay and just simply save it okay after adding the <coughs> trust relationship okay then we can again try okay how we can try again just go to the state manager again just click on this association and you can just apply association now okay so this is just a execution basically so let's check the status it's in pending state now if you just click on that association id and execution history you can see the process is going on okay and if you look at the is it instance status just refresh it it's gone basically if i just remove the filter and you can see the uh, is it instance has been stopped okay so now let's go to the <coughs> state manager and create one more associ association for starting the instance okay same procedure we need to follow just give the name like demo start c2 and just scroll down a little bit the document name you can just search either one by one or if you have a handy then you can just uh, paste here okay just start a situation okay just search it you will find that document name basically so just select that aws start is instance okay and from the instance id you, we need to give the instance id here basically okay you can select all is instance here the all required is instance will pop up here and select uh, whichever we want to configure configure jobs okay and under the assume role you can select with the proper permissions okay assume roles which we have used and you can use daily basis here you can just mention any time like let's say for <coughs> suppose 10 am i'm just giving for example but in real, in real time cases you can configure the two jobs here same way for the one for the morning time and for the starting the instance and one for the evening time 7 pm or 8 pm to stop the instance okay this is uh, just please note this is just for the non production server okay not for the production ser production service or any servers basically okay you can use this feature just for the day over test or uat okay and after the timing configuration just click on create association okay so the job is uh, job will <coughs> create okay so now let's refresh it you can see the job has been successfully started and if i just click on that and see execution history you can see the job is in progress and if i go to the ec2 instance uh, there it was you know stop state just refresh it and you can see it's started right so this way you can configure the system manager state manager feature okay here to start start and stop the ec2 instance okay same feature you can use for the ids as well so <clears throat> just try that and let me know if you face any challenges challenges over there okay yeah that's all for the today's session yeah thank you